we have discussed about uh, different features of habitat and we know that habitat is a sensitive body which involves different kind of uh, factors including biotic factors and abiotic factors for its proper functioning and this habitat it must be an intact body for its proper functioning and uh, the ex existence and survival of its population and the least interference is required to protect those animal populations which are living in that habitat so there are certain species which have a very narrow tolerance range and they can't uh, tolerate the changes beyond the limits of uh, these factors or the they're beyond the limits of their tolerance so any kind of uh, slight changes sometimes it could be disastrous for certain species for example insects they have uh, a narrow range and they have a narrow range of uh, um, tolerance as well in habitat fragmentation due to certain activities which could be natural which could be uh, man made activities uh, a part of uh, a habitat or a patch of a habitat is broken down into several small patches and these uh, fragmentation of that patch of habitat into smaller fragments it results in reduction of total area of the habitat because it is uh, breaking the larger area into the smaller uh, smaller uh, parts or the smaller patches so it results in isolation of one habitat fragment from the other part or the other fragment of the habitat and it results a decrease in the average size of each patch of the habitat so in habitat fragmentation there are certain causes which are dividing or the breaking up this one large patch into the smaller patches and these causes are they could be different kind of obstructions and these obstructions could be natural for example the volcanic eruption that could be one obstruction bush fire which is naturally happening climate change could be a barrier to deforestation here in this image we, uh, we could see the deforestation and we have talked about deforestation previously as well so we can see that that this patch of uh, a habitat it is divided into smaller patches like this is the part of uh, or patch of a forest and this is a patch of a forest so all these two patches they are at a distances from each other so that they are isolated from each other and they don't have any connection of forest between them other than deforestation colonies human housing could be the one obstruction the roads is an other obstruction so we could see there is a road in the middle of uh, this forest so it is dividing this one habitat into two patches and there could be the water drains noise could be the one obstruction as well and then mining is also dividing one habitat into multiple fragments so because of fragmentation one population is divided into unconnected patches and it affects the types of species or the biodiversity and the population size in that habitat here we could see in this video the different uh, causes of the habitat fragmentation and its impacts on the habitat function forests cover about 30% of the planet and the ecosystems they create play an essential role in supporting life on earth but deforestation is clearing earth's forests on a massive scale and at the current rate of destruction the world's rainforests could completely disappear within a hundred years. Why should we care about deforestation? Together, forestry and agriculture are responsible for 24% of greenhouse gas emissions, making deforestation a significant contributor to climate change. Deforestation impacts the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere in two ways. First, when trees are felled, they release the carbon they are storing into the atmosphere. Second, trees play a critical role in absorbing the greenhouse gases that fuel global warming. Fewer forests mean larger amounts of greenhouse gases entering the atmosphere and increase speed and severity of global warming. In addition to helping regulate the Earth's climate, forests provide habitats for over 80% of the plants and animals that live on land. But deforestation destroys these habitats, diminishing biodiversity. Some estimate that 4 to 6,000 rainforest species go extinct each year. 
This also affects the more than 2 billion people who rely on forests as sources of food and shelter. The biggest driver of deforestation is agriculture. Farmers chop down trees in order to plant crops like soybeans, palm trees, and cocoa, or to make room to raise livestock for beef. Logging operations, which provide the world's wood and paper products, also cut countless trees each year. Forests are also destroyed as a result of growing urban sprawl as land is developed for dwellings. The effects of deforestation are grave, but not irreversible. Efforts such as managing forest resources, eliminating clear-cutting, and planting new trees to replace those removed are already being made to reduce deforestation's environmental impact on our planet. And while some plant and animal species are gone forever, combating deforestation can help prevent further loss of biodiversity. So in this video, we studied the different types, different causes of uh, habitat fragmentation and its effects on the different populations. Uh, so when one habitat is divided into different patches, it appears that the proportion of a habitat that occurs on the boundary or the edges of uh, that patch, it increases. Which means that on the edges, there would be a more exposure towards a totally different kind of environment. So the environment which is faced by the species which are present on the edges is, is different or they are more exposed towards the environment as compared to those which are living uh, in the interior of that patch which is facing a habitat fragmentation. So this phenomenon is called as edge effect. The edge effect, it significantly de degrades the population survival which is existing on the edges or on the periphery of that habitat fragment. Because uh, the climate in, at, on the edges of uh, the patch, it is considered as the microclimate. The reason uh, why we call it a microclimate because it could have a subtle changes which are happening in the environment. So they will be directly influenced and quickly influenced by the changes in the environment. So other than uh, climatic factors or other than environmental factors, there are other factors too which we will discuss later. So in this image, we can see this is an example of a rainforest of uh, Manas, Brazil. So here we could see that this rainforest is divided because of the deforestation. It has faced the fragmentation in different patches. So there is one patch and then there are other multiple patches. So this is the edge of that fragment. So the populations which are present on the edges of these patch, they are facing different conditions as compared to those which are present in on the interior side of the forest. So those which are present in the interior side of the forest, they are more safe as compared to those which are present on edges. So they are facing lesser fluctuations in environmental conditions. They are facing lesser fluctuations in predation, prey, relationship or any other kind of interactions happening in that ecosystem as compared to those which are present on the edges. So this is the edge effect which actually degrades the population size in one patch. So the edge effect, the populations on the edges are, for example, they are more exposed to the sunlight. So they are uh, facing the trouble of uh, thermoregulation. So that is the one thing. The other thing is um, the, there could be the thinning of forest, uh, uh, the types of plant species which are present on edges, they might not be suitable for the animal species living there. There could be uh, more uh, parasitic effects, parasites and the predators, they can, they can be more harmful, they can be more dangerous on the edges of habitat as compared to those which are hidden in the interior of that fragment. Plants are considered the worst affected by uh, this habitat fragmentation. Because those animals which can move, with, they are mobile, they will migrate from the one patch, possibly migrate from one patch to the other patch or maybe from the edges to the interior of that fragment. But in cases of plants, because they are sedentary, they can't move, they will have to stay at the same place and they will have to face these harsh conditions. So uh, there are more chances of uh, elimination of plant species as compared to animal species as a result of habitat fragmentation.